guys, G here of Yugotech, and it's that time of year again when we round up the best devices released in 2023. Today, we're setting our sights on the best of the best tablets you can snag in the Philippines. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. First up, the Onapad X9. Think of it as your personal entertainment haven at an affordable price. Imagine six speakers blasting your favorite tunes while you gaze at that gorgeous 11.5-inch 2K display with a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate. Movies feel epic, games come alive, and even scrolling through social media is a treat. Plus, the Snapdragon 685 chipset keeps things zippy. Its 7,250mAh battery is great for binge-watching sessions. You can even get a free smart keyboard in the box, all just for 11,590 pesos. Next, the Realme Pad 2. This guy is all about media consumption too, with its quad speaker setup and Dolby Atmos magic. It boasts an 11.5-inch 2K display with a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. It's got the power you need with its MediaTek Helio G99 chip, up to 16GB of RAM, and a generous 8,360mAh battery with fast charging. It starts at just 11,999 pesos for the 128GB trim and 15,999 pesos for the 256GB option. Now, let's kick things up a notch with the Huawei MatePad 11.5. This beauty rocks a crisp 2.2K display with a 120Hz refresh rate for super smooth scrolling and gaming. Under the hood, it's got a powerful Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chip, and even get the job done more conveniently thanks to its super device and multitasking features. On-the-go users will love the 4G connectivity accompanied with its long-lasting 7,700mAh battery with 22.5W fast charging. All this for just 13,999 pesos. Feeling a little fancy? The Xiaomi Pad 6 is here with its gorgeous 11-inch wide-quad HD Plus IPS screen and a silky smooth 144Hz refresh rate. This thing is a visual feast, perfect for watching movies with Dolby Vision and complete coverage of the DCI P3 color space. Plus, it's got quad speakers and Dolby Atmos, so you're in for an immersive audio experience. It's powered by the flagship Snapdragon 870 chipset, paired with a speedy 8GB LPDDR5X RAM and up to 256GB UFS 3.1 storage. And its 8840mAh battery with 33W fast charging keeps you going all day. It starts at 17,999 pesos for the 128GB trim and 21,999 pesos for the 256GB config. But hey, it's worth for all that awesomeness. Finally, we have an entry from the premium segment, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. Despite being the base model in the series, this is indeed a flagship tablet. It boasts a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip made for Galaxy, with up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of expandable storage. Yup, you can even add more space with a micro SD card, which is weirdly rare in this price range. The 11-inch dynamic AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and HDR10 Plus format is just stunning to look at. Online meetings are a breeze with the 12-megapixel front camera and the in-display fingerprint sensor makes unlocking with ease. The 8400mAh battery with 45W fast charging keeps you powered up and it's even water and dust resistant with its IP68 rating. Plus, it comes to you with an S Pen stylus in the box that's also IP68 rated. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 starts at 54,990 pesos for the 12GB plus 256GB trim. But if you want a bigger and more feature pack, there are Plus and Ultra variants with bigger displays, more cameras, and bigger battery packs. So that wraps up this list. I've become a total tablet convert myself. My Xiaomi Pad 6 has become my workhouse for everything from writing news articles and playing occasional games. So don't underestimate the power of a good tablet. They're more than just fancy toys. They're productivity boasters, entertainment hubs, and maybe even your new daily driver. But hey, which one is the best for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to hit that like button and turn the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, and TikTok, and visit yugatech.com to stay updated with latest tech news and reviews. Again, I'm CJ, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!